How are you mga katami? Today we're going to make beef shawarma and this is divided into three shawarma pita, shawarma filling, and shawarma sauce. If you're not yet subscribed, don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you'll get updated with my new videos. The first that we will do is to make pita bread. Pita bread is a round flat bread baked from wet flour. The first step is to mix all the ingredients. I put 3 cups of flour, 2 tablespoons of baking powder, 1 4 teaspoon salt, 2 teaspoon of sugar. You can use white sugar. I don't have white sugar. That's why I use brown. 2 tablespoons of oil and then mix them all. I added 1 cup of warm milk. You can use water instead if you don't like to use milk. Mix all the ingredients until the dough does not stick anymore at your hands. Then start to divide the big dough into small pieces. Then mold it into circle dough. Let all the dough rest for about 30 minutes. Dust the working table with flour and then flatten the dough. I wanted to make perfect circle but unfortunately I cannot so this was the shape that I was able to make. It's, but it's okay, I think so. In a non-stick pan, place the flattened dough. Make sure that you use only medium heat. Otherwise, the pita could easily be burned. Repeat the process to the other dough. You can notice that there are bubbles that are coming up when it is about to be cooked. Now let's start to make shawarma sauce. I'm doing now garlic mayo sauce. I put mayonnaise and 2 tablespoons of all-purpose cream. Then add chopped garlic. You can also use powdered garlic. Add black pepper. Then add about 1 teaspoon of oil. Add 1 teaspoon of cayenne powder. I added Italian spices. You can buy this at the grocery. You can also use oregano leaves. This is however optional. Then I add 1 half teaspoon of sugar. Let's set this aside. This is already done. And let's move to the second sauce, which is the cheese sauce. Add 2 tablespoons of butter to the mixing bowl. And then add about 2 tablespoons of all-purpose cream. Add grated cheese to the mixture. 
add about one fourth cup of a bath milk. Add chili powder if you want it to be spicy. Add a bit of cayenne powder if you want, this is optional. Then add again leave spices. This is optional. You can add melted cheese if you want. This is again optional. I added cheese powder. This is optional if you don't have cheese powder. I added about 1 tablespoon of flour. Then put all the mixture in a non-stick pan and allow to stir it until it becomes melted. Now this one is already done. Now let's make the shawarma filling. Add oil and then add chopped onion. Let's add chopped garlic. Then add the ground beef. By the way, the beef that I'm using is one half kilo. Add ground pepper. Add chili powder if you want it to be spicy. Then add about 1 teaspoon of sugar and 3 tablespoon of soy sauce. Add 2 tablespoon of oyster sauce. Add about one half cup of water. Allow it to boil until the meat becomes tender and until the sauce caramelize or become a little only. Sorry for my English but anyway the filling is already done and it's now ready to be plated. Come and join me as we eat and prepare this delicious shawarma. This is in no particular order, so it depends upon you as well as the filling. So I use cucumber and I also have tomatoes and of course I have the white onion added to it. Then I put the garlic sauce. If you don't have time, you can buy any way a ready-made garlic sauce which are available in the supermarket. Then add the cheese sauce. As well as the cheese sauce, it is also available at the supermarket. But if you want to make this as a business, of course, you should learn how to do this. The pita bread, you can also buy them readily at the supermarket.
Thank you so much for joining me once again. Tara, let's eat.